Uno. Replacing the constitution left behind by Chile's former military dictatorship is turning out to be much more difficult than anyone could have predicted. Chileans went back to the polls Sunday to elect a new constitutional council that they hoped would do a better job than the previous one, whose draft charter they rejected last September for being too radical. We need to reach a balance, a consensus, so that everyone is happy with the results, unlike last time. More equality, more modern rules, with a more modern vision of society in the constitution, that's what I hope for. But that's unlikely to happen. If the previous council was dominated by the far left, this time it will be under the control of the right and far right. Together they've clinched more than 30 of the 50 delegate seats, enough to pass any constitutional norm they propose on their own. <laughs> Chile's Republican Party, the most conservative of all, will now be the leading political force. And their most voted candidate, Luis Silva, told me they've never wanted to replace the dictatorship-era constitution. It is our starting point. This process allows us to introduce new aspects to it, that we believe our constitution deserves. We can modernize fundamental rights like honor, privacy, internet issues, and measures to stabilize our political system. The result could have been different, but 20% of votes were null or blank ballots, believed to have been cast mostly by progressive Chileans who were unhappy with the process. Hello. A team of legal experts appointed by Congress has already presented moderate proposals that include better recognition of social rights, such as education, health care and pensions. But these can be modified or rejected by the new body. The council will have a very short time to draft the charter, only four months. Then it will be put to the vote again in a referendum on December 17th. Priscilla. Should the text be found wanting, Chile will have lost the last opportunity for a long, long time to finally eliminate the last important symbol of its former military dictatorship. And it would be an irony, particularly this year, as Chile commemorates the 50th anniversary of the coup that gave birth to the constitution that so many find illegitimate. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Santiago.